In this episode, we will make some CSS changes. So feel free to skip it if you are not interested in changes which are CSS related. Uh, be aware that a few items will be moved around and if uh, you don't want to hand type the whole thing, you can get the latest version or the up the version after all the CSS update uh, directly from the GitHub. So the first one is the, uh, so here in our application, we have main.jsx and in the main, what we do is we call this thing app, which creates the element div. So app is not the appropriate name, so we'll change it to div and then append div and then to the app we are appending div. Now what we'll do is that to the uh, div does not have any ID, so we'll do div dot set attribute ID to do app. Next we need to wrap the display item in a, so let's go to display list. So in the display list, here we are returning the section ID. So right now we are returning the display item. So instead of display item, we need to return a section ID main. So what we'll do is return and what we want is section ID main and we want to return here section So now we are getting the warning that the each child in an iterator should have the key prop because key is right now at a display item level. So the uh, what we need to do is we need to move it to the section level. So we can move it to the section level by having something like key is equal to here is to do dot id. So that takes care of the warning. Uh, to the UL, let's apply ID to do list to do dash list. And in the main app, we have uh, the, uh, the whole thing is P, so we can get rid of P, uh, and instead, we can have footer. And we should move footer below to-do list. So we'll make the space here and then we will So now the footer is at the bottom which is good and here we have uh, to-do uh, in title in P so we'll change that to H1 Input, uh, so if you look at the app.jsx, here we, um, the input form is, we need to have type is equal to text. And we don't need the submit button, so we'll just kill it. At a display item, when we are talking about the link to delete the item, we can uh, put uh, a class name. So actually N will be uppercase class name destroy. Now let's look at um, ally. So here we have the class name, whether uh, a task is item is done or not done, we are not differentiating. So we can differentiate that by having class name equal to, we'll have item dot done. If it is done, 
uh, then what we can do is item dot done the field is item dot done is true then apply the the label done class name done otherwise just have blank so so and, and it's we no longer call it item we call it to do so to do dot done okay so now it's time to change the css so i have the css already ready so i will just paste the new css i'll go to the top and remove the old css now i'll save it and now we see the new css so th this is looking better but there are a few fixes still need to be applied which we will apply in the next episode